Well, when people ask me sort of my background and how did I get into politics, I always reference my mother first because she was a big community activist and she was passionate about the issue of bilingual education. And so she was a community activist trying to promote bilingual programs that gave immigrant children a better chance to succeed in school. And just being around her and watching that activism sort of inspired me to get involved in many different issues, you know, throughout my youth. But ultimately, that I think was the foundation for my run um, for office. So um, I like to tell people that in any organization you can think of um, that is trying to do good work in the community, chances are the real worker bees of that organization are women. They're not always the people that hold the titles and they're not always the people that are given the credit. Um, but women really are the ones that typically do the hard work that keeps organizations running. Things like, you know, uh, fundraising for the organization or doing the newsletter for the organization or, you know, putting together the events that the organization has. You know, they're really the worker bees and yet many women don't see themselves in, as you know, ever wanting to run for a position of leadership, but they hold those leadership positions on a daily basis. So for women who maybe aren't quite ready yet to jump into running for public office, uh, my suggestion would be to get involved with a group in your community that is doing the kind of work that you believe in uh, and become active there and just you know, allow you uh, you know allow yourself to learn and grow as a person and those skills are translatable ultimately into running for public office.